Hello, this is Janet Diane Morius Wardlow. Welcome to Healthy Living, where I'm giving you tips on how to make your life easy and successful with very little financial involvement, so to speak. So, here we go. First thing I want to talk to you about is hydrogen peroxide. A lot of people have asked me about this, and I want to explain the difference between the food grade, which is 35% hydrogen peroxide, and what you can get at your most here in the US, we get here at the local pharmacy, which is a 3% hydrogen peroxide solution. Now, the 35% comes in a jug in your refrigerated section. I get mine from my natural health food store. It's very strong. I keep it in the refrigerator and I keep it wrapped up because if it touches your skin, it will burn. Now, I use this to wash my vegetables with. So here's my tub. I fill it with water. Okay, now once it's about half full, I'll move it over here and I just set it on my counter. And now I do have this little whiskey measuring cup that's one ounce because it's recommended that you put in about one ounce to a half a gallon of water or roughly a liter. I usually just kind of pour mine in because I have bit more here. So I put that in, put my cap on, and then all my fruits and vegetables that I get from the store go in there. So I've got a bag of my romaine, organic romaine hearts. I'm just going to put them in there and I leave them soak. And a lot of people have asked me how long are they supposed to soak for and I'm going to let you know that just kind of depends. If I'm in a hurry, I might put it in for five or ten minutes dip it in and dip it out because I figure it's better than nothing. And if I'm not in a hurry, I might leave it sitting there for an hour. So it just depends on how I feel that day. And I put a bunch of things in here. If I put my potatoes in here, my sweet potatoes, because when they've been in the ground, you want to remember that there's all kinds of microorganisms from the soils, from the parasites, and so forth. It will help to clean that up. Now, the other thing I want you to be aware of is that this will burn your fingers if you're not careful with it. So I'm always very careful. If you're concerned, wear rubber gloves. Now, also, it talks on the label all the things that you can do with 35% hydrogen peroxide. You can you put a couple drops in to purify water. You can put it in for your pet's drinking water. You can spray it on your plants after you've diluted it. This is usually always used in a diluted form, but it is food grade. It is not necessarily recommended for use by the FDA, so there's a lot of controversy over it. You might want to do your research on the internet. And it cannot be shipped via airplane. It must come by ground, so if you order it on the internet, be aware of that. This jug, just so you have an idea of the cost, is $28 US. So this is a cost of 35% food grade hydrogen peroxide. You can also use it in your bath. You can take a half a cup of this, a half a cup of baking soda, aluminum free, and a half a cup of dead sea salts, which I have here. And if you put that in your bath and you soak in it for 15 to 20 minutes, that night, most likely, you're going to experience a lot of detox in the form of perspiration and sweating. So you want to be careful about what you do. You might even want to start off lesser than that, now maybe even a quarter of a cup or even a couple tablespoons. But it's always one to one to one ratio. So whatever you use of this, you use of these three products. Now this product, I keep it around for two reasons. One is if we have a cut, I put a little bit on a cut. This is the 3%. This you can take off the shelf. Here we get it at our local pharmacies. And then the other thing I use it for is if anyone has an issue with their ears, you can just put a little bit into your cap, like this, and you just lay on your side and you put it right into the ear canal itself. It will fizz and bubble a little bit, and then it, and it's also very, very cold. But it will help if you feel like you're getting a cold or an ear infection coming on. And then when you're done, you just put your head back up, and you, I use a tissue to just get it right back out again. If you're going to do ear candling, this also helps to help loosen up any wax, so it's also a good thing that you can do as well. 
So this hydrogen peroxide costs about 99 cents US when you get it off the shelf. So and this is a, a 32 fluid ounces or basically a quart, which of course is close to a liter. So there's quite a bit of difference in cost and effectiveness and what you do with the two of them. So this is hopefully will help you live a happier, healthier life. We use both all these things all the time here in my household and I wish you a healthy living. Mm -hmm.